Right, hi, what's happening guys? So, I'm Justin, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing my daily driver car reveal. It's a seriously mad car, like, I've had this for about six months now, but it's going to be new to you guys. I'm going to show you it today for the very first time. You literally, you are not going to believe it. Once you see this, you are going to go, you're going to go nuts, okay? So, I'm going to hold it there, I'm going to turn the camera around, and I'm going to show you the car in three, two, one. Let's see. So there you go, 2004 Ford Mondeo, 2 litre diesel, gear spec and what a car. Gear spec is basically like the top level spec and I can't believe for the age of the car how much equipment this has got. It's got cruise control, automatic lights, wipers, heated front screen so you don't have to scrape that ice in the morning in winter. What a car. So we're going to take it for a little spin but stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a 0 to 60 test later and you are not going to want to miss that. So yeah, let's get on with it. Okay, so what do we think of the car? It's quiet, it's comfy, it's really smooth. It irons out the bumps beautifully. I'm used to cars that have got really low profile tyres and they just rattle you about a bit as you're going down the road, but this is nice and cosy. All the mod cons make it just such an easy drive, you know? It's, it's actually quite powerful considering it's only a two litre diesel, but it's got a lot of torque, so it pulls you down the road quite well. I have towed a trailer with this and it tows it absolutely fine. It's, uh, yeah, it's got a lot of potential if we want to want to push the uh, horsepower figure a little bit higher and make it a bit of a sleeper but as it sits now if we're going from A to B in comfort and with good economy can't really complain right I just pulled up at a, uh, a level crossing now and the train's coming so I'll see you guys in a minute so what do we think about the handling of this car well having had cars in the past that are really oriented towards driver feel and things like that this is lacking somewhat in the sharpness department, but it's not meant to be a sharp sports car at the end of the day, it's just a cruiser. So it first came, when I first got it, it had some god awful tyres on it and it was all over the shop. But I've put some, some half decent rubber on it and, you know, it does the job, it's fine. It goes around corners with plenty of confidence and that's all I need, so what happy days. Right, so why have I bought this car? Well, I needed something that was more economical and more reliable than what I had before because I was using a lot of petrol and the car I had before I had a Hyundai Coupe and it felt like every week or every month I was underneath it fixing something, replacing something, the whole thing was rusted to bits and I just needed a change so I've had a few Fords in the past, I've had a couple of Fiestas and things like that so I thought I'll stick with a Ford, I know where I am there and then this happened to crop up just as I was looking around, it was at a good price, went and had a look at it all was good so I paid the man and ran away so this is what we've ended up with and so far it's, and it's done exactly what I needed to it's been nice, comfy, economical and reliable I've had to change one thing which uh, you saw in the cinematics just a little air intake and you know if you've got to change something you might as well upgrade it so that's what we did there and that's about it we put some tyres on it and put fuel in it and off we go so I said we were going to do a 0-60 to 60. we're about ready to go I've got a nice bit of private road Okay, let's go. Whoa, scrambling second gear. Up to the red line, 40 miles an hour, 45, 50, 55, 60. Right, I'm going to put the time up here. It's probably not going to be that impressive, but it gets to 60. That's all you need to know. So, on to the next bit. To round it up, what do we think? 
great little car I can see why it was big for company cars back in the day really comfy really economical cheap to maintain cheap to run and basically just a nice place to be as you're traveling up and down the motorway which is what you want in a company car really and in just a daily driver so but as you all know you can't just have one car in your garage you can't just have a daily driver so keep your eyes peeled because there might be a little race car coming along soon so make sure to like subscribe if you want to see that coming up next and yeah drive safe everyone peace out